Hi everybody, Ben from Max Geeks and welcome to Cafe Rain. This is a point and click game, um, it's very old school, but it was made a couple of years ago. So here's the synopsis. Set in the 90s, Cafe Rain tells the story of a strong willed journalism major who has to come to terms with her own troubled past as she investigates the mysterious death of her recently deceased grandfather. Sounds brilliant, it's about time we have a strong female character on our YouTube channel, so let's get straight into it. Hey you! Uh, hey. Oh man. Oh, oh big night. god, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. You've been there. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh, uh -huh. guess he's religious. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. <laughs> so I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered okay. that you used to live there and everything, and... Guess this would be the grandfather. Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! Um... Let's be honest. Yeah, he is... was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I, uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. Nice. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. I just couldn't help myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm <laughs> just telling you this as a friend. I know. So we're clearly well, anyway, roommates, you should but know that the funeral of different is uh, okay. styles. Are you gonna go? I don't know. I don't mean styles. Night, I mean different personalities and stuff. Because obviously night, she's very Eileen. religious, clean, prim, proper. Clearly likes Titanic, and we've got Pulp Fiction poster up. It's all messy and guitar, and this is a bit. Um, it reminds me of Red Dwarf. We've got kind of Lister, and then we've got oh Rimmer there. Oh God, make it stop! Uh, I guess we've got the alarm clock. Turn off. Look at the alarm clock. Let's turn it off because that beeping is annoying. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I so know, the funeral getting line. a new roommate. Well, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Okay, what have we got? Don't think we've got... Pulp Fiction. Love that flick. Brilliant. Okay, so what's this the one? Thing. One thing. of my favorite oh, Of course it is. Like, it's really difficult to make some of these out. Just some random band poster. See, I thought it was Batman. But, or The Tick. That's Titanic. That movie's not out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. Oh, she, she was... everyone who walks in here the same joke. Okay. Alert, so she was... Sinks. Our roommate was an extra in Titanic. I uh, got computer. Can we use it? Think. Look at. Eileen borrowed it from school. She takes a bunch of computer classes. Okay, so we've got a bed. Play electric guitar, think about. Let's play it. Nah, it's no fun when there's no one around to annoy with it. Fair enough. Um, doesn't seem... Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Mildred! <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna get it for that. I wish I could wrap up that fact and save it for Christmas. <laughs> I like how the little circles change. Um, yes, it doesn't look like there's much else we can do. Cigarettes. Stun gun. Nice. Okay. Guess we're off to the funeral. Oh, nice! Easy rider. Okay, so this is just basically a kind of little mini loading screen where we just basically get right when we go to cemetery. Boom, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, it's just like Monkey Island, just like the early LucasArts games, just coming into view like that. Love it. Love it. I'm going to try and keep the uh, well, the cursor out of the way, so I'll keep are. it down at the bottom when I can. Does anyone object? Guess not. What's she going to do? Smoke? Dead people rule. No. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> oh, don't litter. Come on. Oh, there's the funeral. Got some war veterans. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. I thought I'd uh, be very respectful during the whole speech and not talk over over the vicar. Although I guess it's not really a vicar over there, is it? It's padre, pastor. Oh, Kathy, you big baby. Just talk to her. Is that our mum? Uh, excuse me? Mrs. Rain? Oh, is it our grandmother? Met, hon? You look yeah, yeah, look at her now, yeah. Grandmother. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine who? Yep. You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. And the hair piercings, you know. Kathy, bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. She doesn't look happy oh, about it. I oh, no, there Joseph we go. I could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A as long as he's looking dear. down and not looking up. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness. We have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Okay. Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. Okay, guess we'll uh, leave her to her thoughts. Can we enter the mausoleum? No reason to go in there. No, okay. Let's see if we can look. It says price. Is there anything on these? 1955 to 1994. Enough for 1576. 1575. Hello. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Oh, I'm just gonna walk right past you. If How rude. Find God. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. <sighs> um. Yeah, let's be a, a little bit. Uh, and what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful just path? Just judging us by our looks, are you? you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? There you go. I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah, I'm not into religion, so I don't, I, don't, I don't mind people having religion and find comfort in it, brilliant. Just don't preach, don't push on other people, is my motto. Like he was there trying to enlist us. So we've got a new place with the Rain Residence, so let's head off. Okay, he's got a wheelchair, Grandma. so it's probably his. Anybody home? A little bit riding out, arriving at Grandma's house. Ooh. Guessing we got a bit wet. Nice black leather coat. Right up my alley. Nice black leather. A mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. Huh. 
Never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. So let's look at the phone. These book. should come in handy when I need to make calls. Okay, so yeah, we'll need it at some point, but probably not just yet. Let's see if she's in here. Oh, yep. hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Guess that's him. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. I've got a feeling this might be a dialogue-heavy first episode, just to kind of set the story up and stuff like that. So, you so, know, bear with me. Now, bear with tell me. me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. <laughs> ah, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I I'm guessing we don't get on with our father. Have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. Yeah, okay, so we got uh, abandonment issues. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Whoa, okay. Um, I guess we'll be honest. Mom is... I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. I understand that. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. Mm -hmm. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Okay. I don't know what. I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face. Like his soul had been ripped from his body. Wow. Since that day he never spoke a word. Forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it is horrible. Um, I guess we ask about the incident in 81? Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first, I even suspected he was having an affair. <laughs> when I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. It must have had something to do with the war. Yeah, it could be PTSD. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. I don't know, dear. I I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. And that's why, guys, you should always talk and open up. Do not keep it to yourself. Um, yeah, so what are the doctors? What do the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. Wow. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe Guessing infection. it's none of these three. It's all and a it's load something of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. <laughs> yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. Hmm. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. 
And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Very Indeed. suspect. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. So yeah, what did what the police say? What did Sheriff say? Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. Mm -hmm. The sheriff was convinced there Small was some town. kind of foul play sheriff. involved, but it's so all pointing towards corrupt police. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, I could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. <laughs> sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Um, well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, yeah. Kathy. I guess it's off to the police station then. Let's just have a look at this. Grandpa in his Air Force uniform. Looks to be in his early 20s. Expensive looking scotch. That thing has been standing there forever. Yeah, we're not going to drink it because clearly, you know, probably still got a bit of a hangover. An intricate toy airplane with moving parts. I remember playing with that. Grandpa had a whole collection of them. A decent sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. Okay. Combine, look, think. Guess you can't really smoke in there. It's the brochure that priest gave smoke me. Smoke inside the grandma's house. The logo stands out, but other than that, it's just the usual church mumbo jumbo. Washing away your sins, salvation, blah blah. There's also an address at the bottom. You know, if I ever feel like getting my god on. Huh. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get his snowmobile ready for that day. <laughs> um, okay, so can we actually combine them with read notebook? What really happened to you that night, Grandpa? Okay. Um, so I guess we can combine that with like a phone, the phone book, or you know, a map or something like that. Um. Could go upstairs. Can we actually go in this? Oh yes, please. It was Come a on. joke, you know. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Hot Wheels. Brilliant. <laughs> um. Cute red horse. It's some old Swedish thing, I think. Very interesting. Dog fighting. Grandpa used to love that stuff. Nice black leather coat. I shouldn't overstay my welcome. Okay. So it looks like we've got to head out to the police station then. So I think we'll leave it there for part one. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.